Uh, I'm, I'm, where, where is, I'm sorry, John, where's Nick? What? Uh, where's Nick? Nick, oh, uh, uh, Mr. Kroll is um, here somewhere, uh, but. Uh, what do you mean he's here somewhere? Well, I don't speak for Mr. Kroll. You don't speak for Mr. Kroll? That's no. This I, is, I don't. Uh, this is. I don't. I, I know he's in the building. I walked out. You announced us. I don't. Uh, we booked don't both correct. of you. I said uh, you were both supposed to be here. It was I'm supposed to be John Mulaney. Uh, there he is. Okay. I'm sorry, what's, what was that all about? Uh, Mr. Mulaney and I are not speaking currently. We are currently not uh, speaking to each other. Yeah. You're not speaking to each other. You just finished four months together on Broadway. Yeah, that was a long time ago, Conan. Yeah. Uh, it was not a long, no, it was not a long time it ago. It ended January 22nd. That's in the past. Yeah. Mr. Kroll and I are not speaking. Yeah, we are uh, in, in currently in litigation with one another. I'm in litigation with Mr. Mullaney. Yeah, hence the Mr. Kroll and the Mr. Mullaney. Mm -hmm. All right, wait, you're suing each other? Is that right? We're, it's a falling out, Conan. Yeah. All right? Like Simon and Garfunkel or Hall and, wrote, Rich Girl. Ha Hall and Oates. Hall and, Hall and Oates, yeah. Oates did that. We don't talk to we each don't other. Talk you just talked to each other right there. No, I didn't. No, we didn't. No, I don't, didn't. And don't you can't turn this. prove. Don't, don't turn this on don't us. This. <laughs> this is a classic falling out like, like Sasha and Malia. Okay, no. <laughs> Sasha, Sasha and Malia did not have they a They don't speak anymore. Get out of your Get bubble. Out of your bubble. <laughs> Those are photo ops. Yeah. Well, okay, so there's a, there's a lawsuit. Is this... Anything to do with John? You wrote a tell-all book. Well, I felt Does that have need... anything to do with it right yeah, here? Well, Is this... I felt the need to set the record straight and knick-knack this guy's whack, give the freak a bone. Yeah. Okay. And there's a question mark there, but I can tell you the answer, yes. All right. I wanted That's to call it- That's the worst title of any book. Uh, well, I wanted to call jacket it- design. It's a beautiful yeah. jacket. We did it in about a half hour on a computer. <laughs> I wanted to call it Mr. Lousy, AKA Admiral Jerk, but I, you can't have profanity on book covers. Okay, yeah. look, <laughs> this is a children's show. I don't yeah, I know. know what's even happening here. Look, so you wrote this book yeah. and that's what caused the problem? Uh, it's one of the many. I mean, I, I was personally offended by it, you know, but it goes way back. I mean, this goes deep. This is, you know, Mr. Mulaney, uh, I mean, he stole, I mean, I had a drug problem. He had a heroin problem. I had a drug problem. Heroin wasn't the only drug I was doing. Fair enough. <laughs> Mr. Kroll is correct in that he was abusing other things was, other than opioids. <laughs> then I save this guy's life. I take him to the best rehab, you know, Trump's doctor. I take him to that guy. <laughs> I save this guy's life, Dr. Harold Bornstein, I believe. That's the name. Yeah, That's the guy saved my life. Name. The guy saved my life. So I get out of rehab. I find a great woman, Sookie. Oh, She's my awful. girl. An and awful person. She, and then she starts looking at the books. She sees that Mulaney, uh, Mr. Mulaney, is stealing money because from Because I me. wanted to. Right. Oh, wait, you were stealing money from I wanted the hundreds. money. <laughs> I mean, this is, oh, hello, this is hundreds of dollars but, we're yeah. talking this about. This man, you know, you say Hollywood's a ruthless place. This guy stole a roll from me. It was a brioche. And I wanted it. <laughs> I had the butter out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What sourdough would have been funnier? I know that. I know. <laughs> and so, and, and what else have you guys done? I understand I, there was a radio appearance. I went on the radio. Oh, this, I was yes. furious, yes. so I went on the radio and I acted out. Okay. And I don't do. regret it. It was I went on uh, Stern. Oh. Uh, okay. You went on the Howard Stern show. No, I went on Daniel Stern's radio <laughs> show. Uh, he was uh, Wait a the, the narrator from the Wonder Years. Yes, Daniel Stern, the narrator of the Wonder Years. He has a radio show. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a, we got the clip. You got a clip from it. Let's oh, listen. Let's play the clip. Yeah, but what John doesn't say in the book is that he drinks so much coffee that his schwanz doesn't work. The guy's got a classic case of caffeinus. <laughs> and the funny thing is, standing there that winter afternoon, I knew things would be all right. That's not... No. Yeah. You know what I can't believe that you're fighting? Because you guys have been coming on my show 
since 1997. I mean, since 1997. Mom, what are you doing here? You're you trying to doing? bring up old times so that we cry, cry like Fonzie, Fonzie a little? Fonzie no, no, no. no right You've been coming on since 1990. I'm going to show, guess what? I'm going to show a picture uh, of your but appearance hey, on 1997. On. Look at that. Oh, God. Jeez. Hey, come on. No offense, I mean, but babies. I'm crying a little. We were babies. We were babies. Jesus. We were crawling. Yeah, we crawl out and come, we do our bit, and then Conan calls us over. Conan would, right. give, Conan would give you the thumbs up and the OK sign and the hang 10. Yeah. That meant to come over to the couch. Yeah. yeah. Which, if you were an infant, that was a big deal. It was yeah. a big thing. You had if to come loved, over as an infant. You could roll around on the couch. I could put my foot in my mouth back then, and I don't mean misspeak. I could fit my he could put soup dumpling foot. of a foot <laughs> right in my <laughs> drooly lip. Yeah, Jesus. Ah, uh, those were the great. I mean, this is what he's doing, though. He's trying to, he's trying to remind us of what we were. Yeah. Look at this guy, he's you know he's worthless. He's worthless. You know? He's this guy. What are you talking guy. about? Worthless. No. We're trying Guys, to make up here. You try to. You see? Have you ever seen you? You wear your leather jacket off camera. Yeah, you camera. see Conan's off camera it's, leather jacket. It's like you've seen this, this thing? guy. He's a joke. I, this whole time yeah. we've been fighting with each other. When really the problem is Conan's offstage leather jacket. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> His casual look. His casual motorcycle. What are you? You're a father. Get a tweed jacket. <laughs> <laughs> like a I came and saw your show. I came backstage. Yeah. I did. We have a picture of me backstage hanging with you guys. Oh, there it is. Look what at that. What are you wearing? What's oh, wearing? okay. All right. The leather what jacket. Are you one of the Tuskegee Airmen? All right. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. You dating a pink lady right now? Come on. <laughs> All right. Well, the important thing is you're back together now, right? I love you. I, love I, you. I never want to wear it. All right. We'll take a little break. More with Nick Cole and John Mulaney. Stick around.